Hey smartwatchers! I'm back this time to take a look at some of the different women's smartwatches and to show you guys some of the different options that are on the market. Today we're going to be looking at the Moto 360 second generation, the Samsung Gear S2 Classic, the LG Watch Urbane, and the Pebble Time Round which are all in rose gold. We're also looking at the Apple Watch that we got gold plated. There's a link in the description below if you guys want to take a look at that video. First up, we're going to do the Moto 360 second generation, which I personally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So obviously, I love the look of it. When you see this watch at first glance, the face seems a little overwhelming, especially because I personally have tiny wrists. But I do love how sleek it looks, and I do love the round face. The band this comes with is also a great neutral color, which conveniently goes with just about everything I wear. It has gradually become a little worn and dirty, but nothing too noticeable, which isn't really a problem because the bands are quick release. I'll be taking a look at a double wrap and mesh rose gold band in a future video, so make sure to watch out for that. Next up, we have the 18 karat rose gold plated Samsung Gear S2 Classic. I love this watch. This watch is similar to mine, but the look is clearly more feminine and has a face that's a tad bit smaller. The bezel is an obvious plus to the watch and gives it that distinct look. The bezel actually rotates and that's how you use the watch, which is so cool. It comes with a white quick release band, which is also a good neutral color, but I'm sure this thing would get really dirty after a while. I put some links to a couple nice looking quick release bands in the description below. Also here we have the LG Watch Urbane and on first impression, obviously this is not very female friendly. So big! The face is huge and the band is very masculine. The lugs extend out from the face which make the watch look even bigger. This watch also does not have quick release bands so you can't switch them out. It may be rose gold but not female friendly in my opinion. Overall, I think it's a sleek looking watch, just not for me. Next up, we have the Pebble Time Round, which works on both iPhones and Androids, and this watch is just so tiny and cute. The white and rose gold are a great combination, and the face is a great size. It's much smaller on the wrist and looks really sleek. It comes with a white band, which is also very slim, but again, white gets dirty pretty quick. Here we have it on a rose gold band, which makes it look more like a piece of jewelry instead of a watch. Last but certainly not least, we have the Apple Watch. This is the only one out of the bunch that has a square face, which is a very unique look. Here we have a gold band on it, which magnetically closes, which is pretty cool. The Apple's face size is just about the same as the Moto 360. The square face makes the watch seem a little bit smaller than the Moto and the S2 Classic, but they do all run around the same size. When it comes to the Apple Watch, it really depends if the square face is the right look for you. It's all about preference and whether or not you actually have an iPhone. Overall, I am definitely in love with the Samsung Gear S2 Classic and the Pebble. Both seem to have just a little bit more flair than my Moto 360. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please comment below if you would like a separate review of any of these watches. Thanks guys!